what is up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here. Second account. Oh, uh, man. Look, still number one ranked. But, um, gonna do more of the pre constructed deck stuff. So, last time we lost. We lost with energy. Um, go to table. Okay, so we're going with growth now. So, let's see. What is the growth pre constructed deck? Um, add scrolls, add scrolls, add scrolls. Right, so, this is the growth precon. Growth pre con looks okay. 24 creatures, that's okay. And hopefully, it doesn't take a long time to find a match. And so, if you don't remember, I lost the energy pre con, I won with the order pre con and right. And now we're doing growth. So, I'll be back when a match is found. That was pretty quick, awesome. Hello, Weiler5002. And I'm not sure this is a good hand. I do like the two drop. I can underdog spite too. Oppo is pretty good. I'm going to keep this hand. It may not be that good because I don't I don't have a three drop. Or like a four drop. Um I don't have a one drop either. I know there's one drops in this deck. Let's see. Let's see what Wyler does. He's growth. All right, see that? Yeah, I'm glad I kept the oak blood piece. Oak blood hurts growth players. And sacrifice a rally. Play the sister fuck. Let's see if I could draw a three drop or four drop. Another sister. That's not too bad. So at least another thing I could play. Maybe a ragged wolf, brave, brave. Um, bear power. I can underdog spite, which would do nothing. I guess I'll just play this to the fox and see what I draw. Protect this because it might be able to start with like a champion or if he doesn't have a ragged wolf or something. Um, God hand, I'll sacrifice for resources. We're not close to God hand yet. And hopefully, he doesn't have a Ragged Wolf. Because I might be able to kill his Brave with a Champion Ring. Oh, I will. Awesome. Uh, and I can play a Junkyard for some protection. He's probably going to get a little confused to what's going on here. I'll get rid of the Underdog Spite. I do think Underdog Spite could be a, could be a cool scroll. Um, but I'll get rid of it because I think the other scrolls are a little more important. I mean, Junkyard kind of sucks, but I don't want to lose this three attack thing to a Ragged Wolf. And Wilder's probably like, what the heck is Nerf doing? Why, did he, why is he using Junkyards? Okay. I think it might be bad that we're doing that it's a mirror match because mirror matches are uh, he'll probably he'll easily have the advantage because I'm just using a worse deck because I lost the energy mirror match but I, the order one wasn't a mirror match I played decay and it won um, striped fang bear. If he has a rally, he can destroy both of these things. I almost want to put the Ancestral Sodom right here. To protect this. I'm going to do it. Because I want this thing to attack. That's kind of stupid. I have put an Ancestral Sodom right in the middle. It's almost like protection. Whatever. His four attack now. I mean, it could destroy this. If he, like, quakes right now, I'm just going to feel like such an idiot. I mean, no, I won't feel like an idiot because, I mean, I probably would have played that anyway. So he does not quake. Um, double Frost Scale would be pretty bad, too. And he gets a Racking Dance. So that kind of hurts. And we don't really have a way of destroying that. Do we? Um, Ranger's Me is not too bad. I think I'd rather keep the creature, though. So I'll just play uh, Great Wolf. So. I have a Great Wolf. 
on the board before Weiler has stuff. Um, let's see. Let's see what I can do. Not sure how many. I'm not sure how many great wolves are in the pre-construction deck. So, is he going to be able to destroy the Angel Sultan on this turn? He does. He actually clears that row. Okay, but that kind of sucks. Yeah, it does kind of suck. Let's just let's sacrifice for resources and just play the Ranger Oak Blood. I think that's what we should do. Just get some protection right now. Try to claw our way back into this. If I can like top deck a Ragged Wolf, that'd be awesome. Not sure how many Ragged Wolves are in the pre-constructed deck. Yeah, this started so this, this little mini series started so well with the uh, with the order just wrecking, but it doesn't look so good now in like the almost mirror matches. Um, okay, let's get some some attack buffs so I can destroy that brave maybe. Okay, bracket wolf crimson bull would be perfect. Rallying is not what I actually I could I don't know actually the yeah, rallying is not what I wanted. Uh, if I rally, then it doesn't really do anything. I will Rangers Bane you, so at least you die. See. You. Next turn I could rally. Uh, luckily, this oak blooded thing is probably going to survive. It doesn't look like he wants to attack it. It's pretty good for me. He has big scroll advantage. He has board advantage too. That's not good. I was saying this last match. <laughs> Okay. Wildling in, over there. Alambatal on the wildling. And I better. Alright, we gotta take down. We have to protect Middle Idol. Um, can't let him win this too easily. I think I'm going to keep hold of that rally. Because I do want. I do have enough resources too. Bear Paw. Let's go ahead and um you know I think we can afford to do this. To I mean if I rallying just to kill this doesn't feel that feel that necessary. I think I just want to play the Frostbeard this turn. And I could bear paw something. I could bear paw you. Yeah, I think I'll bear paw him. I mean... Now it doesn't attack next turn without a rally, though. Which is probably stupid. I probably shouldn't have done that. But with, a, with a rally next turn, all three of these things uh, attack. And I... Oh boy. We really have to protect Middle Idol. Hopefully I draw a Ragged Wolf. Ragged Wolf would be the perfect draw. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be that great. It would be, it would be great, but it wouldn't. It probably wouldn't save me. Crimson Bull, you can't do. Um, can I take out the bear and this wildling this turn? Champion Ring. I need the rally though. Okay, well, I guess I have Eagle first. Kinfolk Veteran. Okay, if I rally, I can go five to kill both of you, and then, yeah, I'm rallying. Rally time! Um, five kills both of these guys up here, and then two kills that, and then six. Well, who cares about the six, right? I guess I should just go you up, you there, so that both of those die. And then the five to kill. This way I'm killing one, two, all four of these creatures instead of... Well, I'm killing the same amount anyways. I guess I'd rather have the Great Wolf near the Ancestral Totem so I could take it out. So... That will do, that will do. And I have a Kinfolk Veteran to play also. I really want to take this totem out. Because if he, if he is a rally right now, 
Actually, it wouldn't really do much for him. He could do a bunch of damage to my wolf, but he wouldn't kill anything. Okay, that destroys that. A little bit of a problem. Um, and I am going to... It's a tough decision. Yeah, I think I want to get the Brave out. This is an aggro growth, you gotta remember, so I don't mind ramping up. And I'll use the dude here. I want to make sure this Great Wolf survives. Should I destroy the totem? I almost want to destroy the totem. But then he has like a clear shot on middle idle. Yeah, I'm not going to... I mean, he's clear shot on middle idle there. But then I can at least destroy those creatures afterward. You know, we're just going to kill a rat and put you in the back. And... Move you up, so at least he has to... And we're also going to get like a Crimson Bull if he destroys this Frostbeard. So I'm, I almost want him to destroy the Frostbeard since that has 7 attack. Um, it's a close match, close match. If he has a, like, like a Ragged Wolf Crimson Bull, um, will destroy my Great Wolf. Kinfolk Veteran. Ragged Wolf. Okay, well, that hurts my Great Wolf a bunch, but it doesn't kill it. Brings it down to, th and he destroys Middle Idol. Um, let's see, let's get some protection for that. Totem, not exactly what I wanted, but Akas ah, Rebels, three health. I've got to destroy the, the row, right? Yeah, I think I have to destroy the row. So, eight, because it's, I'm going to put down the Angela Sun, we give it eight. That would destroy all that. So let's put Totem right there. That's eight. So I can destroy the three of you three of you and then five i gotta destroy the attacking veteran and i'll use the outcast world to protect the great wolf beast that's i mean this this and this i don't want to die to a veteran but if i have to choose one to protect from a veteran it would be the the seven attack the eight attack great wolf so hopefully it doesn't have a veteran he probably does though he has a slight 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 card range Okay, Wildling Staggart. Oh, he's playing Staggarts. So let's see if I can get like another rally. I'm not sure if there's two rallies in this deck. Crimson Bull Binding Root. Oh yes, Binding Root. Yes, I can. People should run Binding Root. I honestly think Binding Root's like a pretty sick card. We're Binding Rooting this right now. You can't move. Um, destroy that. Stick you in front there. And I don't want to let you just veteran and kill this great wolf with this guy attacking too. So I'm going to move down. Um, okay. Like with a veteran, he could destroy this brave though. And he could almost rush me up top. Looks like he might have that. Okay, right, good. No veteran. Okay. Awesome. Um, but that brave is actually a problem. It's gonna attack. If I can top deck a veteran, that'd be cool. Or ragged wolf be awesome too. But like I said, I don't know how many how much stuff there is in this deck that I could use. Frostbeard. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna destroy the wildling. It does give him a stagger, but I got to destroy the veteran. Um, you're gonna have two. He's just gonna have two damage, so I may as well put the three health wall. And I'll put down a. F I mean, I don't want to destroy, destroy the frost beard because it's still. I mean, I don't think that the extra two attack next turn is gonna be a huge deal because this is like not relentless, and his creatures are relatively low health let's move you up so you're actually engaged in more of the battle and put the frostbeard in front of the great wolf so we're top decking like every turn which isn't good but there's goes the, his ancestral totem i don't know if he runs quakes he might 
would clear almost both of our boards. Actually, I would survive a little bit. Okay, so that dies if he has a veteran now. Okay. At least the brave survives. There's a ragged wolf, but now the ragged wolf is a little bit too late. Underdog spite does. Ooh, racking underdog spite. No, underdog spite only counts down by one. But Rat King was a good draw. Rat King's a huge meat shield. So we're going to go with the Rat King. And... Uh... We're not going to survive all this hitting much longer. I mean, I'll just... I'll take this out. I'll take it out. And then I'll move you up. You up. And I have to destroy the thing that's attacking. And he's still going to be able to like clear a row of his choice. I think the totem is probably more important than... Actually, the Ragged Wolf would have been good there because I get the extra attack. So it sucks that I top deck the Ragged Wolf there. Um, what do I want to do? What do I care more about? I want him to stay up there. So I'll actually go like this. Okay. So now, he can easily destroy the totem and it would take a little bit of work for him to destroy the brave. But I still have my six attack great wolf. Um, it looks like, is he gonna have something to destroy that? Alright, so he does. So he destroys that row. Sadly. And Frost Scale. Destroys that. That's just about it. If I underdog spike this turn, I, I could actually kill the wildling. So I think I'm actually gonna do that. Um so we're gonna actually sacrifice the frost scale for scrolls. And I guess Do I play everything? Do I want to keep something to sacrifice? Yeah, I'm gonna go underdog spite so I can at least destroy the wildling before it has like a lawn vital on it. Um, so we'll go like that. I will go ahead and I have to just keep destroying the creatures. Put you in the back. I guess I'll put. What's then? How about attack is coming in for him? He has a two and a one, and he's top decking. So. I'll put down, you're going to attack next turn because I'm going to play you before the underdog spice. so I want to protect you a little bit. So now I'll go with the underdog spite. Oh, I thought, oh, you have three attack because of the, the uh, underdog spite only affects attack two or less, but this guy has three attack because of the ancestral totem. So I guess I should keep you in front then. And yeah, I'll just put down the outcast rebel. All right, because the crimson bolt for next turn would not be that useful. Okay, let's see. We're both just top to yeah, like seven resources. I have a bigger creature on the board though, but he's done more idle damage, which at this point is is it is a uh, important idle damage. Um. Okay, so that does not destroy. That does not destroy the whole row, which is good. Fertile soil, that's a really good draw. I mean, it's not that good. Because I'm actually going to destroy my own creatures, but whatever. Do I destroy this guy? Three health. Or should I. I gotta destroy the rat. Um, veteran, I have to keep. I want more health. I want more health. I don't think. I think the beast rat is actually going to be more important than the better, because the two health, actually one health, two health, the same thing. In case he has a ragged wolf, I actually want the beast rat. Um, champion reading. Okay, that was a good draw. That brave at least. Let's see. I have to destroy the thing that's attacking. Um, two, two. 
let's go ahead and let's put down Which, which order? Beast Rat and Brave Wear. So let's see. Two and then two and then one. No, it's just going to be two and one. And then two, two, one. Let's go like this. Okay, that might not have been the best placement. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I should actually put the Brave up here. Okay. A rally champion ring would be the worst because it can destroy this great wolf. But he does not rally champion ring. That's good. Rat, uh, Rat King meat shield is annoying. And that's pretty bad too, but it's not quite the worst because now I can basically destroy this row. Yeah, that was actually really nice because now he destroyed the frost beard and now you have 8 attack. And that's 5 plus 4 is 9. So I just need to put a uh, champion ring or I could just better. And I think I'm going to sacrifice the rumble. Yarl, ooh. Yarl is actually a better play here because <laughs> I can get the inspiring. I'm actually going to use inspiring, and it's going to it's going to help. So nine attack, five plus four is nine, and that works. And we get a bunch of health on the board. Okay, so let's go like that, and protect you from a veteran attack, and that will be that. So there we go. And next turn, I can veteran champion ring. I'm gonna be pretty proud if I can win this match, this ranked match with this growth pre Um Then at least we would clinch a, clinch a, like a tie in the pre decks and ranked if I can win with two of them. Um, Sister of the Bear. Let's see what I want to do here. I can't. So the great the rival has two attack. The veteran has four attack. Um. Two, two. I want to like see if I could draw a rally, maybe. I don't need the champion room right now. I'm going to sacrifice the sister of the bear. Frostbeard. Um. Let's go ahead, play the sister, I'm actually going to save the veteran. I'm going to play the sister of the fox, and then I'm going to play the ragged wolf. here and then a frostbeard in front so these guys are going to get extra attack and hopefully he doesn't have a way to destroy uh this yarl if he has a crimson bolt would destroy the yarl but then this dude would once again <laughs> be ginormous from the frostbeard if he has a double crimson bolt then that would be devastating because then i'd lose both of these guys so let's just hope for an, a not double crimson bolt I have two champion rings in hand. Maybe I should have veteran this turn just to prevent any chance of a double crimson bull. Come on. Oh, there's a crimson bull and a second one. Okay. Oh, that's going to die soon. That's not good. But he does destroy the right Jarl. Yeah, so I probably should have gone with a veteran to destroy. Oh, no. That was really bad. <laughs> An underdog spike doesn't even work because at least he wasted his uh, ranger's main. But ah, uh, that sucks. Why didn't I just veteran last turn? Dang it! And I can't even underdog spike because of the frost beard attacking. Okay. Rally. That's good. That was a good draw. I can rally and clear his board. I don't know if he's running quakes. Okay, so at least I'm not out. I'm not out of it. Okay, so.
at least the the death is, will be avenged. But if he has a quake now, that won't be good. This is a really cool match. Ah um, man, I can go veteran. Ranger. Yeah, but he, he probably doesn't know I'm running with the precon. Um, Brother of the Wolf, I'm going to sacrifice a champion ring. Uh, I'm going to play Fertile Soil on the sister. And then I'll play a junkyard. And I have three and an outcast rebel. All right, so I'm getting more cards right now. Now I'm pretty far ahead of him, and not that far ahead of him in card advantage, but he has more resources. Okay, Ranger's Bane, you're gonna die soon. We're both running Ranger's Bane. I'm running it from the pre-con though. So because there's two structures here, I'm not gonna be able to really do much. I can Ranger's Bane back. I think I'll do that. Right now I actually think Brother the Wolf is more is more important than Rat King as Meat Shield. I don't know. One better I actually don't think is a big deal, but I don't want to destroy the attacking room better, so I think yeah, never mind, it is a big deal to destroy. Uh I will Yeah, I'm actually going to get rid of a champion ring, I think. Four resources. It's time to sack for resources after those fertile soils. I want to get to him where he is in resources. Destroy that. Take out middle idols. Now maybe I can win just by like pinging stuff down here. And play a brother wolf. And he is top decking. So there's that. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Veteran does take out this ranger. Let's see, what are, what are his two scrolls? And I have a rally next turn. Rally Rat King could win the game, especially especially with... Um, I may have had Lethal last turn. I, I doubt it, but I didn't even check, so that's why I'm saying that. Let's see. Is that game? I think that is game. Because... Each rat has two attack. So that's going to die from this five attack. And then two plus four destroys five. And then two plus two plus two destroys that. So wow, that was a good, that was a good match. Um, so rat king. Rally. GGWE. Uh, recorded for my channel, little. Alright, so, he was rated about 1500. So um, that'll be it for uh, today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. Keep on playing Scroll Scroll Drew. Submit your top plays to top plays of the week. NerfTheNinja@gmail.com and hopefully, hopefully I can win with the Decay Precon and I can win with three out of the four Precons. So far I've won with Order, lost with Energy, won with uh, Growth and Template. But then. The, the game I lost was the energy one, and that was facing an 1800 rating player, 1800 rated player in Holofoil. Whereas with Order and Growth, I faced like 1500 rated players, which are more like middle of the pack, average ish. So, uh, yeah. So that'll be it. So I will see you all next time. Make sure you comment below if you like me doing this or not, because if you don't like it, then I'll certainly stop. 
So see you next time.